Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. Put my hat back on. Hey, maybe you guys can help me out there. Uh, I'm gonna make some hats uh, for sale if you guys want them. I'm gonna go to some good trucker styles, so they may be up there a little bit, but they're gonna be quality. Uh, kind of what I do, quality check all these boats. That just, yeah, maybe helps. Know that people kind of appreciate me taking them out and checking them out and that extra time um, for support, I guess. I'd be honored if you wore these. But anyway, I have a hard choice here. Now, in white, it's either this one or this one. I need you to get a hold of Angie at her front office, 888-5501. And then black, and then I'm gonna do this in black. So these will be for sale here shortly within a month. But I just need your import, input on the white ones. That one, that one, or that one blue, red, or yellow. Or blue and then black. Black ones I'm gonna do like this. So anyway. I mumble a lot, but anyway, so if it's something I have had people asking for hats, so I figure I'd make some, and especially people that go out in demos, uh, they like to have hats, so it's something we can offer. Not that I'm anything special or anything, but at least you can say you went with the boat doctor. Okay, and they'll be just, uh, for sale for anybody. But enough of that, that's the last time I'm gonna even mention that. But I'm out here, this is what I do, I'm checking in this boat, it's a trade-in consignment check. That's a 20 foot Rogue Marine, really nice boat. It's a hell of a good price. This thing's clean. I think it's only got like 97 hours on it. Top's good, size good, bag drops, got the river anchor, which is nice. That's good for like big rocks and anchor out, the spear anchor, double fork or single fork actually. Uh, anyway, OR339 ACV, got a caravan trailer, got top mount comfort. I did add some brake fluid to that. You pop that into the cap, you pop. It was empty, so I'm going to have them. I did this before they do the pre-check, which you're going to do the compression and all that stuff when I get back. But I'll run it out if I see something, then I write it down so they something they can look for when they bring it to the back. Anyway, two-inch ball, peekaboos, chains, round seven. Real nice boat, very clean. Uh, tandem axle. Uh, those were probably um, OST 175.80. 13s I believe yes they are and chine guides these are good because this is your uh, teflon running on your chine right here guide so you don't scuff up the side uh, the top this is like brand new if you notice these aren't snapped down all the way uh, and the reason is in the summertime or wintertime they shrink a little bit so you got to get them warmed up so they got a little more elasticity or whatever so they'll stretch and he's got a ta high thrust kicker yeah he's got a few little chips here he must have hit the bottom on it that doesn't hurt anything i'll know when it buy if i go out and buy brakes if it does got a high thrust uh, 11 by 7 pitch prop these got the thrust of a 25 because of that 25 gear case uh on the back here this is open for back pressure releases so you got like 50 percent at least backup power more than uh, a standard 25 larger gear case and it likes to escape out through here uh, tiller handle, I call it the Swiss Army knife. But this does have power trim. Here's your start button, here's your kill button, here's your front neutral, your friction. This also has the friction on here too. You got a swim deck, got the American uh, turbine, looks like a bigger pump. Got a hummingbird depth finder in the back. And this is kind of cool, that's your inspection cap on uh, jets. Okay, say. Uh, uh, yeah, we're in a bunch of lily pads or seaweed or something. You got out and wham, the RPM, they're just singing, but you're not going anywhere. You probably plug the pump, right? Okay. If you're right there by the dock, I suggest put it back on the trailer, pop this. But what's nice about this being here instead of inside, I could do that on the outside, but just don't lose the wing nut. Okay. So just barely do that where you can flip it up so you don't lose that. But that way you can turn off the motor, uh, take the keys out of the ignition, reach down in there and you can pull any debris out of that. Or if a rock got in there, you're gonna hear it go clatter, 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 clatter. You know, then you get, open that up, get it, and reach it, get that rock, attack it. So this is kind of neat that they did this. The American turbines did this. Some of the two trials, they put them on the inside. And then if you take that off on the inside, it's like a geyser, <laughs> you better be fast. So if you had one of those, you better beach it, get it on the trailer, whatever. 
uh, unless you know what you're doing because uh, uh, a lot of people would panic. These don't have a lot of reverse power due to the 2007 uh, buddy bearings. Uh, this will be a fun boat. This should get, it's, like I said, it's got a 305 in it. The boat really doesn't weigh anything. Your battery's back there. Then I'll trim it. Ah, oh, there we lift this up. Motor looked like brand spanking new, fresh water cooling. Um, corrosion axe always on the outside, your cables and stuff on the outside. Uh, keeps them uh, nice and freed up. I always pop this, about a 45 gallon tank. Dipsticks right there. Manifolds, elbows look good. Uh, antifreeze looks good. So, anyway. <laughs> A lot of these had V6s in them, so this 305 should get it. You got your storage box seats, captain's chairs. Uh, they need to glue that cap back on right here. This is a reverse, so you wiggle this and you pull this out, and that puts this into neutral. But you got to remember when you're going to take off before you go away from the dock, rock it back until this goes back in again. And hours, you got 97 hours on here. Full tank of gas, bolts look good. Bill trump works, horn works, wiper works, blower. That could be just vibration um, through, the, through the hole, but I they may want to check that pump because that is growling a little bit. You do have your vents here. He is missing some, like these little fins over there. He's missing one. And I think he might be missing one down there too okay and what i would do just to make it a little quieter i'll make it like a little curtain or something for this or a velcro board where you can put some velcro and put a board to have it come down on this just to give you a little bit more quietness but you do still have that under there and you got your stereo right up into here i'll see if this works turn that on accessory heater heater fan works okay so i turn that on yeah, it looks like the radio works. So we're going to turn that off. And that does turn that off. That's what that accessory switch is for. So now 20 foot, at least, uh, Road Marine 305. Like I say, this boat should get it. Um, we'll give it a whirl. Okay, this is the boat doctor. Out of here.